In this video, we're going to be talking about the 10 most dangerous countries in the world in 2023. These countries are all facing serious security challenges, including violence, terrorism, and political instability. Pakistan is in 10th place. The country is home to a number of terrorist groups, including the Taliban and Al-Qaeda. These groups have carried out numerous attacks in Pakistan, killing thousands of people. The country has been plagued by violence for many years, and the situation has only worsened in recent years. The government of Pakistan has been accused of failing to address the country's security problems, and there is concern that the country could become a failed state. The future of Pakistan is uncertain, as the country is facing increasing instability and the threat of terrorism. Venezuela is in ninth place. The country has been in a state of political and economic crisis for many years, and the situation has only worsened in recent months. The government of Venezuela has been accused of human rights abuses, and there is concern that the crisis could lead to further instability in the region. The future of Venezuela is uncertain, as the country is facing increasing international isolation, and the economic situation continues to deteriorate. Russia is in eighth place. The country has been involved in a number of conflicts in recent years, including the annexation of Crimea and the support of separatists in eastern Ukraine. The Russian government has been accused of human rights abuses and attacking Ukraine. The future of Russia is uncertain, as the country is facing increasing international isolation. Libya is in seventh place. The country has been in a state of civil war since 2011, and the violence has been particularly severe in the capital, Tripoli. The war in Libya has caused widespread displacement, with millions of people fleeing their homes. The country is also facing a humanitarian crisis, with millions of people facing food shortages and disease. The future of Libya is uncertain, as the country is still recovering from the effects of the civil war. Iraq is in sixth place. The country has been involved in a number of conflicts in recent years, including the US-led invasion in 2003 and the rise of ISIS. The violence in Iraq has been particularly severe, and there have been numerous reports of massacres, torture, and sectarian violence. The country is also facing a humanitarian crisis, with millions of people displaced. The future of Iraq is uncertain, as the country is still recovering from the effects of the wars and the rise of ISIS. Somalia is in fifth place. The country has been without a functioning central government for many years and the violence has been particularly severe. There have been numerous reports of massacres, kidnapping, and piracy. The lack of a central government in Somalia has made it difficult to address the country's security problems. The country is also plagued by drought and famine, which have displaced millions of people. Somalia is a major transit point for illegal migrants trying to reach Europe. The country is located on the Horn of Africa, and thousands of migrants attempt to cross the sea every year.
South Sudan is in fourth place. The country has been in a state of civil war since 2013, and the violence has been particularly severe. There have been numerous reports of massacres, rape, and looting. The war in South Sudan has caused widespread displacement, with millions of people fleeing their homes. The country is also facing a humanitarian crisis, with millions of people facing food shortages and disease. The war in South Sudan is a complex conflict, with multiple factions involved. The government of Salva Kiir is supported by Sudan, while the opposition is supported by the United States and its allies. Syria is in third place. The country has been in a state of civil war since 2011, and the violence has been particularly severe. There have been numerous reports of massacres, torture, and chemical weapons attacks. The war in Syria has caused widespread displacement, with millions of people fleeing their homes. The country is also facing a humanitarian crisis, with millions of people facing food shortages and disease. The war in Syria is a complex conflict, with multiple factions involved. The government of Bashar al-Assad is supported by Russia and Iran, while the opposition is supported by the United States and its allies. Coming in second is Yemen, which has been in a state of civil war since 2015. The war has been particularly destructive, and there have been numerous reports of airstrikes, shelling, and landmines. The violence in Yemen has caused widespread displacement, with millions of people fleeing their homes. The country is also facing a humanitarian crisis, with millions of people facing food shortages and disease. The war in Yemen is a complex conflict, with multiple factions involved. The Saudi-led coalition is supporting the government of Abdrabu Mansour Hadi, while the Houthis are supported by Iran. Topping the list is Afghanistan, a country that has been at war for decades. The Taliban, a Sunni Islamic fundamentalist group, has been waging an insurgency against the Afghan government since 2001. The group has carried out numerous attacks on government targets, as well as on civilians. The violence in Afghanistan is particularly severe, and there have been numerous reports of massacres, torture, and chemical weapons attacks. The war has also caused widespread displacement, with millions of people fleeing their homes. The Taliban's takeover of Afghanistan has raised concerns about the future of the country. The group has a history of human rights abuses, and there is fear that they may return to the repressive policies of the 1990s. That's all for this video. We hope you found it informative.